Welcome back everyone. If you could please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So I started shooting video about 13 years ago with the very first DSLRs. And at that time I was making behind the scenes videos for YouTube, but I found that I was putting in a huge amount of time and not getting a lot of return on my investment. And so I stopped doing it. Boy, was that ever a mistake. I probably would have like millions of followers and be rich by now, but things happen the way that they happen. So those behind the scenes videos that I was making back then tr ended up translating into me eventually doing videos for clients. And over the past decade or so, doing that has been a great resource to sort of keep my business going at times and also to grow and augment my income. And ever since those very first days of building cinema style cameras, um, I've had the same problem. That, that is that there's no way, or at least before, I didn't have a way to transport a camera fully assembled. But let me explain. So the biggest difference between a photo camera and a cinema camera is that on the cinema camera, you might add rails of follow focus, batteries, microphones, wireless transmitters, uh, monitors, and all of those things. In fact, all of those things is actually, that's actually what you're seeing in this uh, Pelican Storm case over here on your left. Over the course of the last 10 years, what I've done at the end of my video shoots is take all of that stuff apart and put it into its respective place inside a case like this one. But today, Tenba has sent me this Cinelux 24 inch uh, shoulder bag and I'm gonna move everything or a lot of the things from over here uh, to this bag. And so I know that not all the things that I've got over here are going to fit, but the good thing about this bag is that it's going to be tall enough so that I can leave my camera fully assembled inside of it and not have to take it apart at the end of the day. Because in this bag right now, this is my main video camera right now. This is a Canon C70. I've had it for about, well, six months or so, maybe, give or take. And so I really love this camera, but uh, as you can see, uh, there is nothing here but the camera and the top handle. And that's the only thing I can have assembled. So let me go ahead and sit this down or I'll put it back in the case. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up. We'll have our unboxing here of the Cinelux bag. And so I just got it, um, I think on Friday from Tenba. So I'm excited to I'm excited to get in here and see what is possible. Apparently the police are gonna to try to stop me. So let me let that go by. Well, while that's happening, I will open up uh, the bag. So um, let's see. It's been a while uh, since I was looking at this bag online. So learning how to use it, I guess, will be all new and on camera. So there is a top zipper that I've opened up. Um, going in both directions. It is called a doctor style bag, which means that I know that it's going to pop open and reveal the inside. Okay, there we go. This is probably gonna be very difficult uh, to look at. Um, hmm, okay. Well, you can see it in the overhead camera, so I guess that's all that's mostly uh, necessary. I guess I'll turn it over here for the main camera as well, so you can see what's in there. I guess I'm gonna have to turn it over so I can see what's in there. Okay, so, interesting, this was attached. Okay, so here are all the dividers and probably some lens uh, cozies. I guess I should fully open that up. Oops. <laughs> okay, so this is a wrap um, that could go around anything, I suppose. This is also a wrap. Uh, and this is a zippered pouch. These could be very useful for different accessories. I'll just sit those over here for a second. There is a shoulder strap, which should be very important for a shoulder bag. Um, and then just sort of going over, uh, as you can see here in the overhead camera, uh, you can see what the dividers and so forth are like. Um, 
Okay, there's a thing here that will let you strap uh, the camera down. Uh, for the main camera, you can see, <laughs> our main camera for our video today, you can see what that looks like. I'm seeing that it looks like this pouch right here. Uh, if you open it, hmm. There's something on the other side then that's interesting. Oh, oh, okay. It's just there's a lot of end padding, uh, which I was thinking that it was like a pouch that opened up into the bag, but it's not. It's just there to keep everything safe. Um, so, okay, so that's there. There's a little bridge thingy here that's made to uh, support the lens. Um, on this part of the bag, let's see what the organizer looks like. So there's plenty of room here for holding accessories, which you can see I have a lot over there. And there's another pouch over here at this end. So, okay. Oh, and then there is a trolley strap on the back that would let you put this over um, some rolling luggage. So I'm going to now take the camera out of here and assemble it. I'm gonna get that all together. You're just gonna end up seeing that right now in time lapse. I don't want you to have to, to watch everything. I'm also going to uh, go through everything in the bag and see where I can put it in the new bag. And then once I'm all finished, through the magic of television or YouTube in this case, I'll come back and sort of show you where I've placed everything in the new bag. Okay, we're back and thankfully you guys didn't have to watch that in real time. I got sort of caught up in one area and I'll go over that. It ended up taking me about an hour and a half uh, to get everything in here. I think that's about right. Um, let me go over what I sacrificed first and then I'll go over what is in the bag. So what was in that big case that is now not in the Cinelux 24 is my Ronin. And previously I just had this case with the Ronin in it inside of that bigger case. So I think it's totally fine if I'm just transporting these separately. It's not like I'm flying places all the time with my video camera and need it all in one bag. And the other thing, it's not like every gig involves using the Ronin. A lot of times I'm just doing gigs where I'm shooting on a tripod and having the camera already set up is going to be a huge savings in time that's gonna be well worth me uh, transporting these things uh, separately. The other thing I couldn't bring along with me was my Sennheiser blimp for my shotgun microphone. I don't always shoot outdoors and I don't always need that. That's what it's mostly for. So I think it'll be okay. When I was shooting a short film earlier this year, I was transporting it already attached to the fishbowl with the microphone inside loose in the back of my truck, which I'm sure is gonna make some people scream, uh, my SUV, uh, but it was fine. So I don't necessarily think that's that big of a sacrifice. And maybe I could get it in here if I really needed to, but let me go over what's in here. We'll start on the outside and work our way in. All right, so what I've got in here are little small microphone stands that I might use while shooting an event or hiding a microphone somewhere. I then also have the gears for my follow focus. Um, so that's in there in case I need it. Usually now I just use the follow focus when I'm shooting a live event and need to zoom and zoom smoothly. So those are there if I need them. Then going into the main front pouch is where we're gonna find most of my audio things. So I have a very long XLR cable in here in case I need it. I also have some foamies. Those are to conceal lavaliers, like the lavalier I have concealed in my collar. Um, yes. Now we're gonna get scratchy bad audio the rest of this video. You're gonna understand why. Okay, so um, I'm using a vampire clip, not a foamy. The foamy's more so if you're trying to hide it, I think under a shirt. Um, but anyway, um, then I have some other XLR cables. My wireless packs will go in here for the Sennheiser system. Also, my lavaliers will go in here and um, that sort of thing. And then this little guy right here are all of my HDMI cables. So, um, and a backup set of headphones, just in case, um, in case I forget the um, headphones that are inside. And last but not least, 
This is a Sennheiser uh, K6 ME64 cardioid microphone. This would be good, possibly good when interviewing two people sitting next to each other. Um, it's in here um, also, just in case. So let's go ahead and close that up. Okay, now on this end, I've got, well, a bit of a grab bag, actually. I've got two Shure SM57s. I think that's what these are. Um, these are little small microphones that are usually used for instruments, or if you've ever previously seen the President of the United States speak, usually they're sitting here like this on the podium. And so these could be great um, for an event or whenever I need a little stick mic. I have accessories to go from that to the wireless. Um, and then I have some uh, AA batteries. So that's in there as well. Most of the videos that I do for clients are interview based. Some of it is that sort of podium event based sort of coverage. Not the most glamorous stuff, but it does help pay the bills. So let's go on now into the inside, the important part. And if I can get this open. All right, this is our camera. So it took me a fair amount of time to change the plate that's holding this battery um, to make it go vertical instead of going horizontal out the back. So I did that to save space. So we've got that going on back there. This will power the camera for hours. So that's great. Also, if I put a monitor on here, like my Atomos Shogun, which I'm currently using, unfortunately, to record this video, it can sit right up here and it can also be powered by this very same battery. Um, on here for my onboard mic, I have a Sennheiser MKH416. It is a fantastic microphone and it's what I use for my audio, or at least I did use for my audio a lot in my previous studio. Um, in this one, I'm using a lavalier mic because there's a fair amount of road noise um, down on the street. Um, I've got the wireless receiver here that could be used for a lavalier or any microphone from the Sennheiser system. I've got my rails in case I want to use the follow focus. I've got my C70, of course, and the 28 to 70 F2. And this is sort of my go-to kit overall. Okay, now let's talk about what's left inside. So this should be sitting right up here. That's where it's going to rest. This is all of my power accessories, um, things I need to power the camera and keep the batteries charged, essentially. Then I've got my headphones, of course, used to monitor the sound as we're going. This guy here from Black Magic will allow you to stream up to four different signals um, to Zoom or Facebook or YouTube. It's called the ATEM Pro. This would be great for live streaming something. I've got all of my filters. I won't bother uh, taking that out. Mostly those are for the RF, the lenses on the R5 because I need NDs. I've got my Zoom um, H6, that's a six track recorder, um, just in case I'm running a lot of sound and, and need the tracks. Then in here, I've got my 70 to 200 F4, which I'll put back in my stills camera bag, but it is in here um, just sort of as a placeholder or for demonstration purposes right now. I've also got the 35 1.8, which is just sort of a good backup uh, lens. And then I've got the follow focus and a whip for using the follow focus in this forward compartment. So let me go ahead and seal that all back up here. Okay, and then this is just a cover that they sent and I'm using it as a stand-in right now. Uh, well, I will eventually use it to hold the Atomos Shogun and that'll be sitting in there as well. So, well, let me go ahead and put the camera back in. And of course I can lash it into place if I want to. Get our power accessories back in and close it up. Well, I think that about wraps it up. From now on, I'm gonna keep my rig in here pre-assembled and hopefully that will mean that you'll see more 
behind the scenes videos for my photo shoots because it won't be so hard to get started every time. Thank you guys so much for your time. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.